Okay, everybody, welcome to another edition of Let's Eat Wilson County. I'm here with my friend Steve Braun. Steve is originally from New Jersey, but he's been here in Mount Juliet for 11 years now. Known Steve a while, he heard about what we're doing, so he agreed to come on and give us some suggestions. So Steve, let the people know. You've been here, you've seen this explosion, so let people know, where do we need to go tonight? Well, if you want to have some good, authentic food, and of course some beer, I would go to Cavanaugh's Irish Pub. Cavanaugh's Irish Pub, done deal. So I want to ask Steve real quick, I've got him on camera, so I'm going to take advantage of this. Steve, if we get in a situation, would you ever be willing to come out and host a show with us sometime? Sure. Absolutely. I like so, food. So check Steve's band out also. Steve's a rock and roll superstar, travels worldwide. Band is called, tell them all about it. Halcyon Way. Halcyon Way, look him up, check this guy out. Thank you, Steve. Pleasure. Okay, so we're looking for a nice atmosphere, maybe some place we can listen to some live music and just kind of have a nice evening out. So Steve recommended Cavanaugh's Irish Pub and Restaurant. So here we are, and it turns out we've got live music tonight, Danny Boy from 6 to 9. Why not? Let's check it out. Wilson County, let's eat. In our visit to Cavanaugh's, we noticed there were so many different aspects that make this a unique place in our community. The owners, Tom and Ann Cavanaugh, have brought the traditional Irish pub to Mount Juliet. When you first walk in, it has a warm family vibe to it. And then you see the unique menu items like scotch eggs, shepherd's pie, and Irish stew, all of which you can enjoy while listening to some incredible traditional music. We were even privileged to have a friend visiting from Belfast play for us during our meal. And if that wasn't enough, you can enjoy Monday trivia nights, dart leagues, poker games, and live music every Friday and Saturday. And we haven't even started talking about the bar. Welcome to Cavanaugh's Irish Pub, where Irish tradition meets Southern hospitality. My name is Danny Patton. I'm here every Friday and Saturday night. Wilson County, let's eat. Okay, Steve, great suggestion. We're here at Cavanaugh's. The music is great. The food is great. The dining room is very comfortable. The service is good. Food's good. So, uh, coincidentally, I ran into my friend Jason Huddleston, two-time national champion in dart throwing. So I'm going to show him how to do it, though. Watch this. That wasn't so hard. So now that I've shot the bull twice, we're gonna go have some scotch eggs and fish and chips. What you like about Cavanaugh's? It's very comfortable in here. It's a place that you could come and you feel better about everything. It, it, it sort of makes your day. They have the best hamburger. The whiskey burger is, by all means, the best. What about, uh, do you ever venture over to the bar area? Oh, absolutely. Generally, I go to the bar on any other night except trivia. Trivia night, I have to come here. It is so much fun. You find out what you know and what you don't know, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't, yeah, it's just fun. It's a fun thing to do. All right, the great thing about living in a small community is you run into people that you know pretty much everywhere you go. This is Thomas Sarver, and he came in tonight and ordered a whiskey cheddar burger. Uh, tonight I ordered the whiskey cheddar steak burger, and before I've ordered the shepherd's pie, fish and chips, and the, the what? Beef and cabbage. And what has been your favorite so far? Uh, fish and chips, hands down. But I, I, I'm sure this will quickly overtake that. I'm at Cavanaugh's enjoying my three favorite food groups, french fries, hot, and curry. When you order fries here as an appetizer, they come in four sauces that you can choose from. And I always choose the buffalo, the firecracker, and the curry, and it doesn't matter what the other one is because I love these three so much. Okay, so we had our fish and chips. We've had the Irish stew. Everybody's talking about the hog shanks. But what visit to an Irish pub would be complete without a pint of Guinness?
If you were to tell somebody watching this video why they should come to Cavanaugh's, what would you tell them? The people, the food, and a perfect Guinness pour. How's that? Uh, Kevin is here. We're known for the perfect pour of Guinness. Here we are. We've got our special award up here in the wall, if we can catch that. So we've got the Guinness here. It's going to be poured in two parts. So we're going to hold it at a 45 degree angle. Uh, don't hold the glass completely. And then just open up that spout all the way. We're going to fill it about three quarters full, a little bit over. And then we're going to let it just settle for a minute. Uh, so when we're doing the top off, some people let it drip, which is not what you're meant to do. You're meant to open it, either pull it all the way forward or all the way back. So in this case, we just push it all the way back. Now, there is your perfect pint of Guinness. So, so the Guinness head is just above the harp there, which is perfect. It's proud of the glass, which means it's just it's a concave above the glass here. And uh, it's ready to drink. But it looks too good to drink, but you're going to have to drink it. So, enjoy. All right, so here we are. We're wrapping up at Cavanaugh's. Great visit, great place. You all really need to check this place out. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you all next week. Let's eat Wilson County. In Ireland's day of need, I have proved a friend indeed. When you made the bullets speed.